um, MMS will be posted up uh, starting at 5 o'clock. The Rockin' Buzzard Brew is about to be released, right? So we'll roll it out next Thursday, but then it will be available everywhere. Everywhere brew kettle beers are sold, you'll be able to see it and buy it. Uh, it'll also be on draft all throughout Northeast Ohio. And so very excited about it. But if you want to join us next Thursday for that first go-round, I'll be at Brew Kettle Pub in Strongsville, 5 to 8. I'll head down there after the show. If you want to hang out for a bit, but uh, it's going to look sweet. It's going to taste awesome. 5.3% alcohol by volume. Is that a lot? Nope. Listen, uh, that means you can just drink more of them and uh, still have a great time and be upright the entire time. So uh, look for that wherever. Also, uh, Guardians are off tonight. They're playing tomorrow night, though, still here at home against St. Louis Cardinals. I was reading about how, and again, I thought they had this all figured out. I was reading about how they might have to change the Washington commander's name. Again? Because their trademark application was denied. Uh-huh. Like, you don't have that figured out? They had that figured out before they renamed the Guardians, renamed the Indians, right? The Commanders may need another rebrand after their trademark application was denied. There is... Um, what? One of my favorite episodes of Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt is when they're talking about how they, there's a whole season, like the arc is getting the Redskins to change their name. And they finally this is on get the show. Them, yeah, on the yeah. show. And they finally get them to change the name. And the reason they change the name is because they change it so people will protest them so they'll buy jerseys and burn them. So instead <laughs> of pe- someone buying one jersey and having it for 20 years, they'll buy a new jersey every week to burn it at a protest, and they become the Washington gun takers. <laughs> <laughs> so I do like, like that. It's like the Washington gun takers. It's... Yeah. Uh, all the names of the teams are hilarious. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, the Washington com- – they were the Washington Redskins, right? In the beginning of last year, or the year before that, they were the Washington football team because they're like, all right, well, we don't know what we're going to be called yet. And then they roll out, we're the Washington Commanders. And now they might have to change their name again because the application for the trademark for the name Commanders was denied by the U.S. Patent Office. That's so funny. Uh, previous trademarks. Here's the other. Here's the other teams from that episode. The, huh? the Jacksonville Hillarys. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kansas City Islams. <laughs> <laughs> the Houston WNBAs. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> the Dallas Piano Lessons. <laughs> uh, the Tennessee Bath Lovers, and then it was the Atlanta Vaccinators, <laughs> and the Chicago Interracial Marriages. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Sounds very much uh, of yeah. the moment. That show's been off for a couple of years, right? <laughs> yeah, and then uh, yeah, I mean, this is 2018 when they made this episode, and it was yeah. still like pre-COVID. And, uh, the Seattle, the Seattle raisins that you think are chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> a little clunky, but yeah. you're gonna get people burning those jerseys. Yeah. The application was denied for two reasons. The Commanders Classic is an annual football game between the Army and the Air Force, and previous trademarks. For the Washington Space Commanders and the Washington Wolf Commanders, those trademarks were already bought or posted by a guy who lives in D.C. So they said they could conceivably get the trademark for the Commanders. Well, there was that little hang-up with the Guardians. Was there? The Derby team, remember? Oh, right. That's right. Well, remember early on where they were floating citizens? I think it was they were trying to it was a diversionary tactic to get people away from kind of in your Kimmy Schmidt version there. Mm-hmm. Very early on when they were starting to talk about changing the name and and they floated citizens or something went right. viral where they were trying to make people believe that that was going to be the name and people were like that's stupid that's ridiculous that'll never fly and then of course they change it to the Guardians named after traffic statues that are very important to us. That is a lateral move from citizens. But clearly they were looking for something that A, hadn't been taken, or B, couldn't possibly offend anyone. So under those criteria, citizens would have been chef's kiss. Because who's going to get mad at that? 
Let's just make it so flat and bland that nobody will get upset. We got a call from Dustin. It's Dustin. It does. On the after hours line, it's 216 986 8903. Alan, it's Dustin down here in Georgia. Hell, I'm sorry, man. I ain't called y'all in a while. Been busy. Alan, it's Dustin down here in Georgia. Hell, I'm sorry, man. I ain't called y'all in a while. Been busy being the dad and having a full time job. Anyways, y'all talking about Wagovi. Let me tell you this. I got mine for a hundred dollars for five milligrams. And let me just go ahead and tell you that Wagovi and Ozempic is a brand name. You know, you can get semaglutide in the US legally without a prescription. It's perfectly legal, it's considered a peptide, and research labs sell it like candy. You know, they have to market it as for research purposes only. But I'm telling you, man, I've taken two shots already, and, you know, I'm starting low. So I haven't noticed too many side effects, but there are cheaper alternatives, man. I'm telling you. See y'all later. Bye. All right, so Dustin's not crapping the bed yet at night. Not yet. That's good news. All right. Yeah, no, listen, but the reason that people are making appointments with doctors to get the name brand stuff is precisely that reason. You can practically get this crap on Amazon, but it's like the girls who are buying, like, Chinese Botox on Amazon because it's cheap, and then their forehead explodes. Like, yeah. you want to know what's going into your body. And so, yeah, you can legally get all that stuff if you want to shoot it into your ass. It's the same people who go to Mexico to get plastic surgery. Well, that involves a trip. This is just going on the Amazon app and going, ooh, let's see oh, where I can get can my get semi glute. Oh, you get Botox in the mail? I'm, mm-hmm. Yes. I didn't know that. That's why they're, like, warning people. They're like, I, uh, you know, the funny bus last night, a couple of the people that were on, one of them was a dentist who administers Botox. And he's like, you got to be Into ri-. your mouth? Into your gums? No, no, no. Into those like, puffy gums? No, it's like a dentist is a doctor. I mean, you can um, uh, administer that stuff, I guess. Or, or whatever certification you have to get to be a an authorized Botox dealer. I don't know what they call them. But. I think they're called dealers. Right. Well, so they're, I mean, it's a drug. So they're, um, a lot of people are circumventing that for the price point of buying that crap on Amazon. But 90% of everything on Amazon now is from overseas. So let's say you're getting a pair of pants and they turn out to be from China or Japan. Worst problem you're going to have is that the sizing's way off. Yeah. But if you have Botox or peptides, I don't think I'd, I think I would go, and again, that's why they're expensive. So uh, he's right. Dustin's right. You can get cheap versions of that stuff, but is that what you want to mess with? Something that you inject? I don't know where they inject it. Your stomach, your, I don't know where they inject that stuff. The throat. The, the ass. The penis. Uh, <laughs> what if you don't have a penis? Well, they will make you one. It's 2023, <laughs> and they will inject it into that. You gotta have some uh, inject it into the penis, and the penis will inject it into you. Oh, come on, <laughs> yeah. Hey. We're going to dinner tonight, by the way. Where? Uh, I'm starting to get around the corner. A buddy of ours uh, is in town for work from Detroit. He and his family just moved back to Detroit from Denver. They've been in Denver for about ten years. And they just moved back to Detroit. And he hit us up. He goes, hey, I'm going to be in town for work. Let's go have dinner. So we're just going to go somewhere in East Forth here. Um, I don't know where. I, I don't. I, 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 got, I feel bad. I have no experience, even though it's right around the corner, with these places on East Forth. What like, you, you haven't made reservations or anything? What are you looking to eat? I don't know. We'll probably go to, like, Butcher and Brewer. Isn't yeah, that over they here? they got a yeah. lot of really good, like, if you're a sharing guy, like, small appetizers. Do they have salads? Uh, yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, that's what I'll want. Um... But you're so boring. Huh? <laughs> well, I mean. Why don't you come to Bill's show tonight in Tremont at the uh, High and Dry? Take him there for dinner. Dinner they, at High and Dry? They got yep. good food. Because really yeah. he's food. staying right downtown. We're not going to go matter. to Tremont. Doesn't matter. To, take him to Geraci's. Get a slice. Oh, get a slice. <laughs> Ride a bird scooter into yeah, Tremont. <laughs> there you go. There's a lot of people, you know, on the Funny Bus last night, a lot of people are zipping around on downtown scooters in Tremont, Ohio oh, City. Yeah. They're really taking those out there. They're, I see them courage. all the time <laughs> They're brave. piled up right on 117th. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where it shuts up. Where they shut off, yeah. So it, do they have them, like, geofenced? 
Yeah. You can only take City them out so far. Yeah. Okay. I love that. I love how they're like, hey, and then they just have to like jump off and then walk the rest of the way. Do they not know that? Because then. Probably not. Well, I don't think they care if they get to somewhere and then they just figure, I'll throw the scooter wherever. Yeah, yes, but, but that just seems are. like a bad business plan for those scooter companies. Yeah, they just run around and pick them up and charge them. Yeah, they them. have people that charge them. But I'm saying chances are if they're on that scooter they're, and they were heading towards Lakewood, they were going into Lakewood. So they didn't plan for it if they didn't know. Yeah, that, they probably didn't know it was going to shut yeah, off. so they're like pissed. Like, you, yeah, but don't you just get an Uber back to where you can? I mean, it's a, it's a, you're ideal. right. It's a hassle, but yeah. Dude, I, I can't get. I have PTSD from getting on those scooters. I can't get. On I haven't scooters. been on one in Cleveland yet. I've been in other places, but yeah, I, I see people zipping around. Either. I go, God, that looks like a good time. I mean, I've been on them before, but I just haven't. We're downtown now. Mm-hmm. I should be getting on one and zipping around, but I haven't yet. I didn't know till today there is a burrito place around the corner from here, over on Superior, and a little uh, bodega type thing, which is very handy. Over it's, here on the east side. Yeah, we're here on the east side over on yeah. East 6th and Superior. <laughs> it is east side. Yeah. It's not the north side. Is that where you got your burrito? Yeah. Oh. How late is that pizza place open, by the way? I it closes as soon as you get there. <laughs> what, the Dracy's? <laughs> Isn't there hook it's late night? Yeah, it's like, Or is that only when there's, like, ball games? I mean, I, I imagine it's dependent on there being people downtown. But, yeah, I think they're open till late. That's I mean, there's too. always people downtown. Well, people... Trying to get pizza. <laughs> There's always people. Jeracy's Slice Shop says closes at midnight. There you go. There you go. Midnight. Friday and Saturday, 1 a.m., everybody. You want a late night slice? And you give Edison's a run for their money. So, yeah, I haven't gotten over there yet. But we're not going to take our friend from out of town to go get a piece of pizza. Where's he here oh, from? Detroit. 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 So, the, Detroit doesn't even have good pizza. Shut up, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. Pound cake is I've been up off since nine. Her. I know. I don't know how you're God, doing. I'm it, right? dying. Don't know how you're doing. I'm getting what? <laughs> Pound cake singing for Genesis. Up since 9 a.m. How are you doing it? How are you alive and awake? My second wind sillies are coming through. Wow. My second wind sillies. (laughs) You ever get those right before bed? We just Mm -hmm. say some weird things and run around and show your butt off? I mean, I do that in general. I do that when I come down from caffeine. Right before bed for like the last week. Uh, Brian's been real annoyed with me. He'll be in bed and I'll be jumping around. He's mad you're showing your butt? Pull my butt out and show my boobs. But he's like trying to go to bed and I'm like running around the house like a dog with the zoomies. I'm just, yeah, I don't That's know. how you know you've been in a relationship for a while. When your girl <laughs> is showing her butt and boobs and you're like, you're I'm like, trying I'm to sleep. sleep. But it's not a cute way. Yeah. I'm like pulling my shirt over my head like a toddler. <laughs> I'm just like, it's still hey, boobs. Baby, Who cares? Baby, look at my rack. Like that. The rack again. <laughs> The rack, half rack. My rack. Gwen gets annoyed with me because, like, anytime, like, she'll be getting on the shower, I'll be in the hallway or something, like, yeah. Yeah. She's like, all right. All right, sorry. That's me to Brian. I like button boobs. (laughs) He'll be like, I'll come home from work and I'll hear him in the shower. And I'll go in, I'll be like, hey, you in the shower? And he's like, yeah. I'll be like, are you naked? He's like, get out of here. What is <laughs> right. wrong with you? I'm like, all right, Brian, show me your penis. You right. have to. He's like, well, get away from me. I'm going to start locking the it's door. fine with me. He likes privacy. I got, I, I get it, but like I was getting out of the shower and Gwen was coming in the bathroom and she full on just grabs my junk. Yeah, that's and what I go, she yeah, did. Yeah, that's good. right. It's there mine. it is, baby. Give me it. And you just hold it and you say, okay, thank you. you Squeaky clean. Yeah. See, I'm at the point now. And I know this is still fairly new, but I pee. I can pee. I'm not pee shy, really, with in front of anybody, but especially if I'm in a relationship. So I pee with the door open, and he does not. I'm like, no. you're just going to pee. You're going to go through all the trouble of closing, closing the, door. the door. He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, well, fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And then I just so, go in there, and then when he closes it, I 
open it and peek through a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at it. I'm like, I see. Well, you know why I used to do that? I used to shut the door because I had such a wide splash uh, what? that the back of the door, Mary, would be just so wet. And Gross. I didn't want anybody to be upset. How close so, is your toilet to the door? Oh, it's across the room. Oh, six, seven, But eight. I had such a wide, wide splash. Wow. Yeah. A um, powerful <laughs> stream. Very. Oh, God, it's like a fire hose. <laughs> his, wow. And um, He's got a large hole. <laughs> <laughs> his, his pee hole. It's, it's, it's like, it's like one of those. It's like this. It's like my. Uh, it's like yeah. my yeti. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like, like a like one of those boba tea straws. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, I would not. I, Getting all my tapioca out. <laughs> that would make me throw chunky. up. Well, listen, I uh, I had to, um, you know, when I got snipped, I asked Doctor Berglund to tighten it up a little bit because. Like I said, the back of our bathroom door, I would just have to constantly be toweling it off. Yeah. Because I was like, annoying. oh, damn me and my wide splash. It was just terrible. And it's just some, one of those things you never notice until you're cohabiting with somebody. And then you go, holy cow, honey. Well, is this not normal? What happened? Is it not supposed to do that? or? And I was a grown man before one of my uh, girlfriends said, point it more into the toilet. And I said, oh. Why don't you start peeing sitting down? And Listen, well, I'll do that did, yeah. I did, yeah. yeah. I'm a, he's a nighttime peer I'm a down. big fan of the, the pee sit. Yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot. See, I lived alone for five years, so I had the doors open all the time. It was just me. I didn't have to worry about anything. So uh, now that I live with Brian, who he is very, very like, we don't fart in front of each other. Yes, the door right. is closed and locked that's right. when you are peeing or pooping. Locked? He I, doesn't trust you to he not has walk started in. Locking the door because I. Come what does he think you're like, Kramer in the bathroom? <laughs> so, um, so like if I'm, so we have two sides of the house. There's an addition on the back. So if he's in the back watching a show, and I go around to the front to use the bathroom. I'll just leave the door open because I'm like, he's all the way in the back of the house, you know. But there have been times where I've heard him, like, come into the kitchen and open the door where I had to, like, lean over and almost fall off the toilet trying to shut it. I'm like, I'm not that big of a hillbilly. You can't see me with the door open because <laughs> I knew he'd be upset. I grew up with an outhouse. This is an in-house. I'm right. still getting used to the in-house plumbing. With our indoor water. Yeah, no, I don't fart around, you know, but the, the pee sit is great. Now, granted, I do go directly into the water. With your whole butt, you you put the toilet seat up and then sit on the rim. No, my front goes right and dangles oh, right into the water. You're too long. Yeah, Got water's it. cold and deep, Bill. I see what you're. Yeah, doing. yeah. Get that heated toilet bowl water. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody else is going on and on about the heated toilet seat. I have warm the toilet water. Bidet, the whole heated, That's right. Yeah. Yeah. When I sit on the toilet, I just squeeze my thighs together and sit everything on top. <laughs> I just like. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you do like a reverse fruit oh, basket? Just, yeah. I just he holds it, it a lot. You <laughs> to squeeze it together. That is a hilarious picture in a my head. Reverse tuck. He's all just sitting there. <laughs> Looking up at him. How'd you get yeah, the beans you, above the frame? That's the male what Kegel right there. Oh, my gosh. I, just, I, I get my butt muscles, my thigh muscles. Yeah, you've got to be squeezing so hard. How do you poop? <laughs> Well, that's how it comes out so easily. It just comes right out. I don't have to push. That's very Yeah, funny. no, but that's... Ow! You're the one that's on there for 35 minutes. Yeah, I leave it there just like Let a tray. Let drop. Yep. Oh. <laughs> You're a poop. Oh, never mind. Ooh, I'm holding them so good. I don't you don't want to poop. You don't want to show revealing a very... I was going to ask a, a really gross poop question. I say I've never, go for it. I've never pooped without peeing before. I don't think you can. Some people probably can't. You're pushing all the same stuff. I was going to say, I've never, like, not done that. Because so. your colon's right behind your bladder, right? Tell me more, Dr. Science. <laughs> Yo, I am a PhD in everything. I'm a psychologist. I'm a fish detective. I'm P-E-E-H-D. Dr. I am a Dr. Science. Yeah. <laughs>